myself positioned at the potter's wheel. The first thing I want to do is get my seat as close as I can, get my crotch way up close to the wheel. That helps so that as I'm throwing, my nose is right over my clay. I get my foot pedal set up so that it's at a comfortable angle. I like my knee to be almost at a 90 degree angle. The other thing I do, which a lot of people don't, but for me it feels very comfortable and something you might want to try, I have a four by four and I put it underneath my left foot. To me, it keeps me square. I always keep my foot on the pedal. So by having my other foot on the four by four, it keeps me so I'm nice and squared up to the wheel. As you notice, I have my wheel set up already. I have my water dish with warm water and I always have my water dish on the right side. It's more comfortable that way for me since I'm using most of my tools with my right hand. I can easily put my hand in and get more water. And I have my toolbox. Currently I'm using this. I sometimes change back and forth, but I have my toolbox here on the left side so all my tools are handy. I put them back in there so they don't get mixed up with the clay. I have a pug mill and recycle clay in here. So, when you're getting ready to throw, you've gotten yourself situated well, you have your feet in where they're comfortable, you have your 4x4 four four under your foot if you're going to do that, your other foot is on top of your pedal, and I'm going to throw my, when I throw my clay down, I then want to be working so that I'm sitting right here, my nose is right over the, my clay. I don't want to be lounged back like this, I want to be right over it. This is where I'm strongest, and this is also where I can see what I'm doing with the clay.